That's a win. This is how Venetia Buckley, the mother of 17-year-old Kaylin Dowdy, is describing the small but encouraging progress her daughter, is, her daughter has made over the weekend. The 17-year-old past student of Pepin High School was previously in a coma after being mob attacked by some six men at a six women rather at a party in Barbican recently. However, Miss Buckley says her daughter is responding to her name being called. Her eyes are opening and doing all of the flickering. If you call her name, she will look, but she can't focus. So she will look at you, but then she goes away. Yes. So it's not staying. She's not staying on you. And to me, that's a win. At least she's trying. She's fighting. She says at the weekend, her child was also responding to touch on different parts of her body. I was touching her, rubbed her tummy. I was singing to her. I sang to her. I prayed. I prayed for her, I prayed with her, I prayed over her, rubbing her tummy and I was there and you know, the doctors came in, I had to leave the room, I didn't know what it was, but I, anyway I left and when I went back, in, when, they, when they came out, they said to me that um, I was rubbing her tummy and it raised her BP because she got excited. So you would thought something was So right. I thought some, I did something wrong, so I yes. said, um, did I do something wrong, am I not supposed to touch her? They yes. said no. That's not it. If you didn't do anything wrong, it's not wrong. It's just telling us that um, she's responding to touch at other parts of her body. Miss Buckley says that she's elated to see Kaylin's progress. I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. I was ecstatic when the doctor walked up me. I jump and go on and I skip. God is good. God is good. That's something that has never happened, and it happened, and I see it as a plus. Meanwhile, Miss Buckley is expressing gratitude to everyone who has been sending well wishes and praying for Kaylin's full recovery. I don't even know how grateful I am. Trust me, I love the whole lot. I know because I love Kaylin. Anybody love Kaylin win for me in my good book. I appreciate every prayer, no matter how small, no matter how Big. If you even said, God bless her, I appreciate it. God cover Kaylan, I appreciate it. Venetia Buckley, mother of 17 year old Kaylan Dowdy. We turn our attention to a, a tragic incident which has been the subject of much discussion across the country. The circumstances in which Kaylan Dowdy was badly injured during an attack by allegedly conducted by a few women. The head of the GSF's corporate communication unit is Senior Superintendent of Police, S Stephanie Lindsay. Those that have been identified they are wanted mean that they have sufficient information to issue a warrant, so there's a warrant of arrest out for them, so they are currently wanted. In the meantime, two other women have turned themselves into the police and are expected to be charged. So far, the police have arrested two on already. They are not yet formally charged, but they are doing the necessary processes leading to them being formally charged. They are expected to be charged, but they are going through some of the other processes leading up to them being formally charged. It is expected to be soon. Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, head of the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Corporate Communications Unit. The two women are a 33-year-old and a 26-year-old who turned themselves into the police over the weekend and were interviewed. Kaylan was allegedly attacked by a group of women while attending a party in Barbican on Saturday, November 7. Both Kaylin and a friend were beaten and stabbed by the group of women during a dispute at the event. They were taken to the hospital where the teen remains in critical condition and the other woman treated and released. Well, for an update on how Kaylin is doing and other perspectives on this incident, we are being joined by Kaylin's mother, Venetia Buckley. Um, Miss Buckley, good morning to you. Hello? Miss Buckley? Good morning, sir. Hi. Um, so for her, um, well, as you know, Kaylan is still on life support and still not awake. Oh, no. Um, I, I saw um, indications 
on social media on the weekend that she had awoken for a, a brief period. Um, is that true? And um, what, what are the doctors saying? No, she did not wake up. Um, the facial movement mm -hmm. that she was making is um, a result of the suction, her, um, her, the tube down her throat, and that she needed to be suctioned. Um, so I guess her eyes are opening, but she's not awake. Oh, no. So she's not responsive at all? No, no. H have the doctors given you a prognosis, um, in other words, saying what they expect to happen in terms of her getting better? Um, no, they cannot give any prognosis at the time due to the fact that they cannot determine what is actually wrong. <sighs> She's in need of the MRI. That's, that's what they're, they're banking on right now to see what is actually happen, happening to in, with the brain and the spinal column. Do you know when she'll be able to get that MRI? Um, the doctor said that the earliest date they got was December. December. Um, right. Um, and it's urgent. So, um, so you need an urgent to... date for the MRI? No, you, you, need, yes, you need an urgent date for the MRI. Um, but unfortunately, there are not a lot of MRI suites here to facilitate Kaylin's case. So what, those that they found, they're not getting any early dates. So that is the issue that we're having. Yeah, I know. Sometimes the MRI machines um, can pose a problem. I gather there's one at UHWI. It wasn't quite functioning up until recently. I gather there's also one which is highly regarded by um, folks in the medical fraternity at Winchester. And another location. Um, so, so you're saying, they are saying you can't get the, it's unlikely that you'll get the MRI um, before December. They said the doctors are trying. They said they're calling around the clock, trying to get an early date, but nothing as yet. Um, Winchester and others do have MRI machines, but they are not equipped to take Kaylan's case, which being the fact that her entire ICU um, unit would have to go into the room. So, and mm -hmm. their doctors explained some magnetic field that would interrupt her breathing machine and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. Did, did it's not the MRI machine itself. It's more likely the suite that is causing the problem. Yeah. Did they tell you that this is the medical folks? Um, which area, which institution would be most suitable to um treat um Kaylan in terms of um having the MRI done? Um, no, they didn't give me a name, a, li uh, um, a name for the place. But um, I'm going up there this morning, and I will be asking. Hoping something can be worked out that the MRI is done in a more expeditious mm -hmm. manner. Um, but, Miss Buckley, um, I must say very sorry to hear about what has happened to your daughter. I've Thank seen you. so many versions of what is alleged to have transpired. Um, mm -hmm. If you don't mind and if you're able to, um, what, what are you hearing transpired which has resulted in your daughter being badly hurt? Um, well, as I said before, it was alleged that she was at the party and this girl didn't just like how she was looking at her. And it started an argument. So, mm -hmm. um, and they, because they claim they are bad people, they, they chose to, to, to fight. So, and that's a result. She got jumped. Mm -hmm. so it started with her and one person and then the others jumped her from behind. So. And um, that's how she got the, the, the injuries to the head from the bottom. Okay. Have you spoken to her friend who was present with her? Her friend wasn't pregnant. Present, girl, present, which, present with her. Oh, the, the girl that was there. Yeah, man, she was at the hospital with her. Mm -hmm. and, and she was I, able to I, confirm I, that she was jumped from behind. Yeah, man, she confirmed. She, she gave her statements to the police. And the two others that were there with them also gave their statements to the police. Mm. So how do you feel about the entire incident? I most the difficult that. for you? Yes, it is the most difficult task I've ever had to do. Um, I'm hurt about it and I'm very disappointed. Mostly disappointed because at no point should anybody stand and watch mm. someone being beaten or attacked or hurt. Or it, no, it doesn't matter who they are or where they come from. 
it should not be tolerated. So in your in in the reports that you have received, no one intervened at all to assist your daughter and her friend? The, the lady the person that took her up said no one helped. No one tried to help. Mm. Even though she was begging for help, no one tried to help. You have does does Kaylin have siblings? Yes, she has a nine year old sister. And how is her sister holding up? I had to send her over to her grandma because she was constantly crying. I know the police. I know the police say a few women have been taken into custody in connection with this matter. No doubt you welcome that development. Um, yeah. uh, has the family been able to get um, an attorney to assist or to even provide some sort of oversight for this case? Not yet. Perhaps that's something you should consider um, right. if you're able. You know, I, I know that it is difficult for you, and I appreciate that what you're going through is disappointing and heart-wrenching. But I'm going to ask you, if you can, because I want you to perhaps as best as you can explain, answer a question that many people on the other side are asking. And I know it might be difficult for you. As a mom, mm -hmm. you know, we've had a curfew and persons are mm. saying, you know, your daughter should not have been out at this party. Mm. Um, how is it that you never know that she did at the party? What's your response to them about that? Um, I knew she was there. Who said I didn't know she was there? So you knew she was going to... Because you see, the controversy but, around it is an illegal party that is being had. Right. Yeah. The thing is this. They said it was an early event, right? Mm-hmm. It, it, it should have been an early event. Mm -hmm. So it's not the case that I didn't know that she was okay. at the party or going to the party. It should have been an, an early, early event. event. Mm -hmm. So being that it was early, there was no doubt in your mind that she was going to an event that was early and within the curfew time. Right. Mm. Well, sorry to be speaking to you at this difficult time. Ms. Buckley, I, I'm hoping the very best for Kayla and, and uh, keep strong and um, please extend the same um, best wishes to the entire family. Thank you.